my name is uh, Alice Brigo. I come from France. I did an art school in Paris and I'm currently a resident uh, of Le Frenois. Soon is my second movie and the first one I show uh, in a movie festival. Um, Soon is a story of uh, three of my friends that I met in the squat, uh, the squat scene of Paris, of, in the Parisian suburbs where I belong to. And uh, it's the story was uh, original, uh, originally inspired by the three relationships they had to, to their non-Western heritage and the way it connects to issues uh, of power and to history. And it's a, a movie that's uh, partly documentary shot in their intimacy and their family and, uh, and also a fiction that we created together where uh, they open uh, a squat and uh, in the building they're occupying uh, began to to unravel their their stories their visions and uh, and their performance of uh, ident uh, identity search and spiritual uh, quests and you just do there there's des bougies en plus Carrément, t'as ramené ton lit, toi. Bah ouais. Enfin, tout le monde en a un qui fait ça. Tu voudrais y retourner Ouais, grave. Bah ça fait, ça fait que deux ans, en vrai, que je suis pas allé, c'était il y a pas longtemps. Mais ça me manque de ouf. Euh... Enfin, j'aimerais bien retourner cet été, quoi. Moi aussi, je voudrais bien retourner au Brésil. Ah ouais, ça fait combien de temps mmh... Ça fait 14 ans, environ. Mmh. Ah ouais. Ouais, mais c'est trop la galère, là-bas. Je pense que je... En vrai, j'ai trop peur de revenir maintenant. Ouais. Ça a dû trop changer. Et toi, Pauline Ouais. Le Sénégal, tu retournes quand euh, Je sais pas. Enfin, je sais pas, j'ai pas trop de projets à aller faire là-bas, donc euh, je passe pas trop dans mes plans. C'est ta mif, non Enfin, je sais pas, c'est tes origines, quoi. Bah ouais, mais enfin... Euh, enfin, j'ai même pas l'impression d'être ici, dans cette pièce, en ce moment, tu vois, donc ici ou au Sénégal. Euh... Bah je te vois, meuf, hein, donc euh, t'inquiète que t'es là, hein. Comment ça, t'as pas l'impression d'être là Je sais pas, je pense que le moi profond, enfin, le, 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 le moi, le vrai moi, il vient pas d'ici, ici, tu vois. Il vient pas du Sénégal non plus, en fait, enfin... Je sais pas, il vient du cloud, il vient d'une dimension parallèle. Puis un jour, il s'est dit euh... Ah, bah tiens, je vais aller m'incarner sur Terre de spi. Puis maintenant, bah, je suis coincé ici avec vous. Je pense que c'est prêt. Hi, welcome to the Teddy Award. My name is Jean Bourbobak, and this time we are discussing the short film Zoom. Hi, Alice. Welcome to the Berlinale. Welcome to the Teddy Award. We are very happy to have you here and have a conversation about, about this short film. Um, the film takes place uh, within the squatting community. Um, can you talk a bit yes. about what drawing you to this particular community and why? Um, well, actually, the, the, the three characters mm -hmm. of, the, of the movie are 
I met them in this uh, squad scene where I belong to. I lived in a squad for for two years in uh, in the Parisian suburbs in Aubervilliers. Mm -hmm. So I met them like in this uh, in this community. There were like one of them was like uh, uh, he was always coming to the squad where I was living alone. He was there like every time we made events, and he kind of. Uh, made his, uh, himself a place uh, in this community and uh, um, the other one came from like other squats where well it, like it's neighbor it's like neighbors yeah. and we help each other so that's how I how I met them mm, I see the film is like moving along um, this thin boundary between documentary and fiction uh, can you talk a yeah. bit about this concept um, well, I think I like, I like, I mean, the, the story really comes from the characters. I was not, I didn't want to make a movie about this particular subject before I really mm -hmm. uh, had these stories I wanted to, to weave together. And so it, it really comes from the character and their life. So, uh, I, I really like, like documentary in a way, but that there's this kind of magical that happens and that you you find out like you have an intuition and then you're going to 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 work with uh, with the people to to kind of get uh, what you want from it and mm. what your intu intuition uh, drove you to and but the, I also really like to to set uh, uh, fiction because it allows also to to like an experience uh, of things you can't get in documentary. And in this case, it was uh, also a tool for making appear um, visions and uh, hallucinations and, and games. So it was like uh, the, the idea of bringing fiction in it was, was double. It was uh, first to, to um, be able to represent uh, these uh, Kind of magical uh, events that that ones mm -hmm. can experience, and um, and the other was also that I wanted them to to have this space to represent themselves and to perform their own characters. So they were also implicated in the writing of the of the fiction. I was proposing them situations, and we were we were playing with this uh, with this in between. And it, it's also a way like you can you can film stuff that's it's actually yeah. not possible to to film in, in documentary so yeah. there's a very interesting cultural hybridity uh, in this film all the main characters have a very have a different cultural background um, um, can you explain a bit about about these three different um, yeah storylines that meet uh, within this squatting community in this particular film that you made. Yeah, so this this hybridity was actually the the, the basis of of the of the idea of the desire to make uh, this movie. It wasn't like first it wasn't a movie about squats. It was more a movie mm -hmm. about about this uh, hybridity, and then the the squad became uh, like this this way they could have a common quest together. Yeah. And uh, this way of talking about space and uh, appropriation of of space and mm -hmm. and um, this these notions of belonging and territory that I think were yeah. interesting to to weave. Yeah. So the three the the three different stories and mm -hmm. and like the I mean the characters' relationship to their family. Yeah. Uh, the the relationship or really the the point of departure. One of them. Uh, is uh, is uh, J so J is uh, yeah. like the three of them have have uh, Occidental French father yeah. and have like a, a stranger mother like a mother uh, coming from another country. So J his mother is from uh, India mm -hmm. and he's a uh, he's a Brahmin and he's really willing to 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 learn everything. He's in his twenties and he's really uh, he wants to to know everything. He wants really to become Indian. Yeah. Uh, he grew up in France, but he he really like he's fascinated by by uh, this this culture, and he has uh, this very 
strong statement. I mean, it changed also uh, during the movie and since right. then, but he had uh, this uh, very identity uh, mm -hmm. uh, willing, uh, like ide identity creation willing, where he was also questioning a lot uh, cultural appropriation uh, and all these uh, issues related to, to post-colonial situation. And, uh, and so Pauline, uh, so the second character, story is uh, she, her mother is Senegalese and she's bounded to to animist practice mm -hmm. and so she's uh, also beginning to ask her mother about uh, about this practice but she's rejected from her family because she's considered to be too accidental uh, okay. um, she's considered like her her mother at one point would tell her like you're you're a white girl you won't understand these things and so uh, there's like these two stories that um, are kind of in contrast and the, the third one so it's his father who is French who who brought him into spiritual practices and it's um, a guy that was really interested in in uh, in all of spiritual cultures uh, like he, he he went to India in ashrams he he went to Brazil uh, uh, to like, and he he's practicing a, a very syncretic, weird uh, kind of spirituality, and so Inti grew up uh, in these communities and and was really brought into a very uh, strong uh, rituals of all kinds uh, in his childhood in in Brazil. So I thought it was also interesting to to have this uh, this this kind of heritage, which is. Yeah. Um, kind of balanced also and and like make like get a different sense uh, when you sit with the two others yeah it was very um it was very intriguing how the film um kind of talks about these different post-colonial states in which these characters move within and i and I felt like it also opens a space to think about the colonial past of France as well, where this whole uh, story takes place. Uh, what is your take on that? Well, uh, I think it was, uh, it's, it's really underlying all the stories. And I think it's uh, questions that are very present within my generation, mm. that all of us uh, uh, even like myself, who come from a very French background, but uh, I mean, in my in my family story, I am also linked to, colon to colonialism in a way. So mm -hmm. I think it's a question that uh, our generation are really going through uh, in in a very different way than the generations before, I guess. And that's why I wanted to film uh, this family relationship, where you could see uh, these uh, tensions or like this this kind of gaps that was. Uh, um, created between between the two generations, so yeah, I think it's uh, it's something I wanted to to question in that movie uh, mm -hmm. in a way that's in a way. No. Did we lose Alice? Hi, hi. Oh, Zoom. Or like... Recording in progress. Oh boy, this robot always scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sorry we lost you for, for a moment. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know where I was. Yeah, you were talking about about this um, how it is a this this colonial uh, question is very prominent within your generation, and that you very um, consciously wanted to reflect on that in the film. Yeah. So I I don't know where it gets. So it's a bit yeah, yeah, hard to we get don't so. know either. Just if yeah, just let's talk about this topic. About, yeah. about how you want, how you very consciously wanted to integrate these questions of of 
the colonial past in the film. Yeah, because I think uh, this question of uh, politics and spirituality are very connected. Yeah. And, and so I think it's something we all uh, reflect on. The, I mean, uh, whatever our, our past is uh, and our origins are, because even as like white people we have, who are linked to the colonial history and it's something mm. Yeah, that's very prominent in our in our generation, and and I can see today like there's a, there's also ways of um, of like uh, doing a lot of statement around it. But I wanted uh, it more to be a personal way of questioning it and uh, and showing a, a complexity and mm -hmm. how we how all of this way of connecting to to the spiritual and to the identity is also linked to uh, history and uh, yeah. power relationships. So, yeah. Yeah, right. The film also tackles this question of power and um, it comes in on multiple levels, I would say, in the narrative. I mean, the whole squatting scene is a very particular practice and statement against um, a traditional normative power. Um, the same thing applies to how the characters, the protagonists, try to create a space in which they can question power in, in general, the power of representation, of authority, and so on and so forth. So what was your take on, on the subject of power within, within this film? Um... Uh, so, I think I think these issues of power are are present in uh, in a lot of uh, layers, and so I, I wanted. I mean, there is like this idea of empowerment of the characters too. That I, yeah. I think is is present, but it's also um, um, yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's really hard question to 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 answer but mm. yeah of course this this way of life is questioning power and it's something we're like always confronted to because yeah. uh, we all go through trials when we squat we have to deal with uh, politics uh, uh, of the city uh, mm. of gentrification and uh, i think yeah i think for me these issues of power are are uh, everywhere in our way of creating relationships yeah. and uh, and also it, it's also very a lot of issues in squads because because we try to 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 create a community where there is no hierarchy. So these issues of power are yeah. are uh, more apparent and, and stronger. Um, and also that's why there's like one sequence where there's a whole squad together, and you mm -hmm. can see uh, some kind of tensions. I wanted it to be like subtle, mm -hmm. to be a. a, a that's actually what happened between the three of them in this space. They really uh, created a space of uh, of friendship and uh, and uh, of yeah empowerment together. So I think that's that's more what we see in the in the movie. Yeah, um, queer sensibilities and a certain level of uh, playing with gender and gender norms and gender representation is also. Um, an integral part of the piece. Can you talk a bit about this aspect of the film? Um, yeah, well, I think it's not. Uh, I think it's not the the main. Uh, how do you say the main topic? But mm. I, I like the idea of making movies that are not about this topic, but that have queer characters. Yeah. I think that's really important for me to, to have also narratives about things that are not related directly to. To uh, issues of uh, of uh, gender and society, but but just to have movies where where the characters are in themselves queer. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, it's uh, yeah. it's something I I really wanted, and also I think it it was really always really an intuition between the the three that I had. Um, but yeah, I, I think the movie is also about uh, in betweens. Because uh, they're all like mm. in between cultures and in between genders, and and in bet uh, and they are like in this uh, research also for creating new new shapes, new new formats. Uh, um, so I think it's 
yeah, that's how the the, the gender question is uh, is integrated to the movie, I guess. Yeah, the title of the film refers to this concept of of the submarine, um, which is explained in the film. But can you explain this concept uh, briefly, and how did you feel that this can be a good um, a good title for the film? Okay, uh, yeah, so the, the movie Sum, the title refers to, it's, it's a short word for uh, sous-marin, uh, which means a submarine. And, uh, and so it's an expression we use as squatters to talk about these uh, three days, uh, like it's like 72 hours. Now, I think it recently changed to 48, mm -hmm. uh, the legals uh, of time to to be in a building to to claim for domiciliation to ask for domiciliation it's yeah. laws that uh, if you have like a paper stating you're here since since this amount of time uh, then then it is uh, you can't be expelled directly you mm -hmm. need for that to 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 go through trials and through uh, judiciary procedures yeah so juridic procedures so yeah um, so that's a submarine, and, and uh, also the word uh, "sum" in French uh, is is uh, used in expression uh, when we say "en sum." It's it's like a youth expression to say uh, doing something hidden, doing th something uh, mm, out okay. of the sight. And so I I, I liked uh, I think all of this uh, corresponded to 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 the like the ambience of of the movie, and I also like the idea of. Uh, of submersion that they were that they were like uh, submerged in in this place of, of yeah. complexity that they explore with, with each other um, and and yeah the, the idea like originally so the idea was to talk about their their personal stories and, and relationships to to tra to spiritual traditions uh, and we had this idea of having uh, them go through a common quest and finally uh, it just ended up being the quest uh, we had in real life, which is uh, which is uh, opening of, uh, of a building, and uh, and I when I actually I, when I did one a few years ago, I, I had it's really special moment because it's a moment very suspended in time that you're waiting. You're supposed to hide. Yeah. You can't really go uh, on the window. You can't make noise, uh, and 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 also you you you. You, you need to find occupations with the people you are in mm. and it's it creates a, a very particular kind of uh, intimacy and also that it's so this moment where you go through the building and it's completely empty or it's like not totally yours but you're so where you're beginning to project what you can do in each space yeah. uh, what it's going to become so i thought it it was uh, it was perfect to to set mm. this uh, this gathering they had, uh, where where it could appear uh, their their fantasies in a way. Yeah. Well, Alice, thank you very much for for being thank here you. with us today, and I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you. Thank you. Okie dokie. Then now. <laughs>